today, Mr. Obama spoke by phone with Russian President Vladimir Putin and expressed his concern about interference in Ukraine. Pro-Russian protesters have now taken over government buildings in 10 cities in the east, and Ukraine's government has done nothing so far to remove them. The fear is that this could be leading up to a Russian invasion of the east, a repeat of the Crimea takeover. Holly Williams is on the scene. In Horlivka this morning, masked pro-Russian protesters stormed the police headquarters. Then, after occupying the station, they raised a Russian flag. We found them putting up barricades around the building. They told us they're expecting a fight with the Ukrainian government. They just don't know when it will happen. Vadim Morozov is a coal miner who said he joined the protest because the Ukrainian authorities treat Russian-speaking people in the east of the country like second-class citizens. These men are heroes, he said, and the government in Kiev is illegal. Inside, we found the policemen who used to work here, but who have now defected to the side of the protesters. Evgeny told us their commanding officers from the central government expected trouble and confiscated their pistols over the weekend. So you don't have any, you don't have any guns, you don't have any weapons now? Yes. Nothing? Nothing. As anti-government militants have occupied state buildings across eastern Ukraine, the country's government and the US have blamed Russia for orchestrating the unrest. They fear a repeat of what happened in Crimea last month, when separatist demonstrations were a pretext for thousands of Russian troops in unmarked uniforms to annex the region. But Alexander, one of the protest leaders in Horlivka, denied any Russian involvement. There are only local people here, he told us, and this was a spontaneous demonstration. And Holly Williams is joining us now from Donetsk. Holly, the U.S. is saying that the Russians are behind all of this. Have you seen any evidence of Russian forces? Well, Scott, we haven't seen anyone we could positively identify as Russian. And there simply hasn't been the kind of large scale Russian military intervention that we saw in Crimea. However, NATO says that there are thousands of Russian troops massed along Ukraine's border. And some of the seizures of government buildings we've seen here look as though they were well coordinated by someone. Holly, thanks very much.